this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Minecraft Story Mode. We are doing episode number two, which is called Assembly Required. And in the, the last episode, we were really mean. We killed cows, we made a disco man cry, we stole a repeater, and we sent a poor lady called Sandy flying in the sky, and she's scared of height. So, we all oh, look at that. Oh, look at the stuff. Can you see that? There's a tube. There's stuff moving up a tube. Ooh, how exciting. Anyway, uh, we are now going to head inside and try and find Elgard and also what the uh, the stuff is that's moving up the, the tube. But first, I guess we need to get through this door. What do the pressure plates do? Aha, so they open it, but when I step away, do, does it shut? Oh, no, look, it seems to be staying open. Okay, I assumed that it would shut tight again, but there are some levers here. Let's go and check these out. I think these are just cool devices. Um... Okay, that's not particularly impressive. <laughs> if I see any redstone and I feel like it's something that I could do, then I'm not impressed. <laughs> I always like to, to be amazed at things I can never do. So, yeah, it basically makes the, the sand look like a wiggly worm bouncing up and down. Right then, uh, let's just go into head inside over here then and uh, try and track down Elgard. It seems to be like quite a big place with a lot of redstone in. Pretty awesome though. And oh, we've just got locked in. I know, look, what are those things? Oh, it's just all materials. There's gold and iron, and I think that was some stone and glowstone and lapis and emeralds and redstone, and I don't need to keep listing it. <laughs> redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. Okay, so we're in, but we're not done yet. I know. This thing's even poor. Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, so I guess I need to work out how to turn this off. Um, there's a lever here. I just need to pull it. I guess I need to do the repeater. If I slow it down Almost. enough... Almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah, if I pull it right the other way back, hopefully it's going to be slow enough for me to quickly jump through. It's still a little bit dangerous. I need to get the timing just right and go, 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 go. Whoop! Just about. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. I know. Hey, what can I say? Me and the redstone just speak to each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at these, huh? Whatever and it's not on, touch anything. It requires all of these ingredients. Try not to touch anything until we know what it does, okay? I wasn't going to touch anything. I was just going to look really carefully. Come on, yeah, yeah. keep moving. Okay, well, let's keep going. Oh, look! Oh, this is like the, um, this is like the, the, the cow. This is the, the disco man's lava curtain. Yeah. Wait a minute. You don't think that she's been stealing ideas, do you? Imagine if she was just in here and she's just watching everyone else and just copying what they're doing. Ah? Huh? I don't know. I feel like this kind of game just makes me overly suspicious of everyone. <laughs> I'm definitely glad that I kept onto my uh, my uh, amulet thing here uh, and didn't uh, pass that away. All right then, let's uh, pull the, the lever and uh, hopefully the lava curtain's gonna reveal something. That's awesome. It has revealed something, but I'm not sure what it has revealed. Just a whole load more redstone, it looks like. I'm enjoying these little puzzles though. I mean, they're all pretty simple puzzles, but pretty enjoyable. And oh, what's this thing? Do you think it's gonna lift us up? It's a zipper. Hmm. Not entirely sure what it does though. Let's see if uh, what the zipper does. So there's a button and a lever and stuff. Uh, let's pull the, the lever and see what this does. I guess when you don't know what something's going to do, just press button and pull levers and stuff. Ah, looks like there's like a, a water elevator there by the looks of things. And uh, let's press the, the button as well and just see if this does anything. It's always worth a go. It makes that come out. Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. Okay, I guess the <laughs> the uh, the button wasn't as useful as the lever. It just makes bats appear for some reason. All right then, so let's go and uh, I guess we just go and swim up. This is just like the uh, the water elevators that I use. It's so cool seeing like these these really kind of goofy things we do in Minecraft. You know, like things that were never intended, but to see them all in this game as well, it kind of just makes them more official, I guess. Like these are all ideas that the uh, the community has come up with, uh, but they've kind of been used in this game as well. And it looks like we found her. Here's Elgard working away. In her dome of concentration. I don't think she'd even notice like we're here yet. <laughs> Entering Elagard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request. Okay, looks like she is actually working hard and not stealing ideas. I don't know where I got that crazy idea from. But right, she's not going to be very happy. She's not going to be very, very happy. She's supposed to be locked away in here and she wants to concentrate. So she's going to be annoyed at us for interrupting her. But we are here to save the world, so I think it's worth it. Let's go straight in and show the, the amulet uh, before she gets too angry at us, shall we? 
Uh, hello, oh, God. Oh, hi. Hey, didn't see you sneaking up on me. Oh, yep, that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? Yes. Yes, we are. Um, let's just say we need your help. <laughs> no time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> wow. Now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Okay, so I'm going to do the, the T-flop. I have built a T-flop. We are probably wasting time a little bit here because <laughs> we should really be getting on. But I need a, a blaze rod and iron, don't I? Uh, let's go turn on the old flip-flop first then, shall we? Okay, delivery circuit is on. Okay, blaze now... Rod, iron block. Okay, so uh, we need an iron block and a blaze rod. So I guess it's just these two which are right next to each other here. What would she be making that needs that? Oh yeah, she's doing a command block, isn't she? I guess this is how command blocks are made. But we've already seen a command block, because that weird wither beastie already had one in it. It's already been invented, or a little bit too late. <laughs> but this has made the items be delivered down here. Now, this is what I need. This is what I'd like in my house. You know, you know, just a cupcake lever, and you pull it, and it just appears in a chest. A cup wow. of tea, you just pull the Blaze lever. Rod. It's all tingly. Just what the engineer ordered. Okay, uh, let's go and Eligard, deliver them. I got those things you asked for. Ah, excellent. Fantastic. Love it. Always happy to have a capable set of hands around. Carrying materials, disposing of fainted assistants. You know, that sort of thing. <gasps> I think she's done it. Has it worked? Um, Doesn't look very stable. No, oh, it didn't work. Uh, trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Excuse me? Excuse me. Could you please not lie on my floor anymore? Someone's gonna trip over you while carrying lava, and it's gonna be such a mess. Lava everywhere. And boy, nothing gets lava out. Nothing. Except more lava. I don't think that I've ever fainted before. I was just so excited to meet you, and and with me always pacing around, lost in my uh, own Uh, right. There's thoughts. bigger problems. I Let's not talk over about you this. And my brain. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it We need to show the, the amulet. Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. Ooh, I'm so close, I can practically taste it. Yeah, we've already seen one. like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. Yes, he gave it to me to find the order. It's how we found you. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to. Who is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can um, feel it. What do you reckon? I don't know what else we could do, to be fair. I think making a command block would make sense. Let's do it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. Looks like we're making a command block. With our really big blocky hands. <laughs> Funny how you just get used to seeing people looking blocky. It just seems normal now, doesn't it? 
They look so weird at first. Right then, uh, let's go and get all the materials we need. Let's have a, a building montage, shall we? <laughs> I really love the way she uses four crafting tables all pushed together. It's so advanced, even one crafting table isn't enough to craft one. And to be fair, you can't even craft command blocks, can you? So I guess it is pretty special. Um, am I picking? Nope. <laughs> Just throw everything in there. <laughs> so this is how command blocks are made. Um, clay and... Never. Oh, am I actually, actually going to do this? Okay, I thought it was going to make me decide where things go. I was going to say, I have no idea. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Olivia. I think Ruben's being more help than her she is. <laughs> She's a little bit excited, isn't she? Whoa! Headbutt the other uh, button. Pull the, the lever. And let's see if it's worked. Are we going to have a command block? My guess is no, because that would have been way too easy. Right, Ruben's not happy. Let's keep going. Let's do everything the same again, but twice as fast. I love her method of inventing. Just throw everything together and see if it works. <laughs> the more materials, the better. That's the way it's going to work. Let's go and throw all of these down on all the crafting tables. Ruben headbutts the, the button. I pull the, the lever. And now we're going to get a command block. Once again, my guess is no. And oh, looks like Ruben <laughs> stole my pleasure of pulling the, the lever. I don't think this is going to work like this. I, I think we need a new strategy. I think rather than just going crazy fast, we need to think and actually work it out. And by we, I mean Ruben because... Oh, not me. Not Ruben. Sorry. Elgard. Because <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, it's looking a bit better. Okay, excellent. Good. We're this getting so there. Terribly exciting. Has it gotten this far before? No, never. Is it going to work? Is it destabilizing? Uh, oh, everything's no. destabilizing. Oh, no. Oh, no. We should have gone. The Witherstorm's here! Come on. Oh, I need to grab her! I need to save her life! Woo! That could have ended badly. Right, I'm ready. Fingers and thumbs are ready to react! Oop! <laughs> I need to stop speaking and concentrate, don't I? It's found us! Do you think it's trying to track us down? We need to get to the portal! So, so, so sorry. It's okay, it's not your fault. It's your, your fault. We should have gone. We shouldn't have tried to make the command block. I thought we could do it in time. I didn't know the Witherstorm was heading our way this fast. How are we supposed to defeat this thing? I think I think a command block would have worked, but we just couldn't do it quick enough. Oh, I need to jump! <laughs> no, no, it goes Ruben after me. <laughs> He's a pretty agile little pig, to be fair. Oh, no, not more cows. Why the cows? Why is it always the cows? All right, let's just keep running. Keep running. Oh, oh no, I didn't dodge. I was too slow. I was too slow. Oh, no, I think that's me dead now. I think I failed. Oh, no. Oh, no, I can carry on. Right, I can just try and beat it weird tentacle things with my stone sword. I don't know if my stone sword is going to match it. Right, back to concentrating. <laughs> I'm going to be ready to react. Oh, do I need to jump? Jump, 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 jump. Go, go. Nothing like leaving it late to make it more intense. And I need to go and jump again, I guess. What am I going to have to press? Do I have to press anything? Oh, I need to grab on. Grab on, grab on. Quick, Ruben, lift me up. Lift me up, Ruben. Don't leave me hanging here. Literally hanging here. I guess we could go back through to the, the Never. It seems like the Never is one of the, the few places we're safe and it can't get us. I think so anyway. I don't know. It could chase us through. As you know, I think the Tentacle did try and grab through once before. I know. Once again, I wait until the last minute just to make it more exciting. If I went straight through, it'd be fine. <laughs> okay, looks like we've made our way back to headquarters. <laughs> Look, can you see the little creeper there just admiring the scenery? Let's see how well, uh, uh, how okay, well Lucas has done in Axel. Well, I wonder if they're actually working together. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh no, there might be traps. They might have left traps to stop people coming in. Oh, and there's that creeper. I saw it. Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? <laughs> is that you? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, we're back. Lucas, hey, we're back. I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Eligard. Fantastic. Quick, come on. You guys are never going to believe who showed up while you were gone. Yay! She's alive! It's Petra! Petra! Hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's That was a really bunker, awkward hug. <laughs> it got pretty dicey. I don't understand. How did you escape? You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. Oh, don't worry about I'm just it. I'm glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the Witherstorm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. 
was just gone. It even got Gabriel. Well, we don't know for I sure. I that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Okay, well, at least we have Elgar. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, you did I this didn't on know. purpose. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. Because I had the choice to go after Magnus so, if I wanted. Who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. We are reuniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Boomtown? That's the name of Magnus' kingdom. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada bing, bada boom. Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus, that's very uh, Just, I'm gonna just say nothing. I'm just gonna do nothing and just let them deal with it. <laughs> I don't wanna get involved, nothing to do with me. Everyone just be friends, yeah, please. So just get out of his face and... Whoa, 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 Axel, let's not overstep our bounds. I may not dig her, but I've known her for a long time. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning a whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Hey, hey, yes, it's scary, but it's nothing we can't handle, all right? We're gonna do this. Okay, how? Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Um... What can we are do? They um, getting along? I don't know. Let's just ask. So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of... Super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. Well, the Formidabomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Um, we could try the amulet again. Give it a go. It only showed two places last time. I really want to go and see what would happen if I went to see Our Magnus now. It sounded quite him. fun. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. Uh, let's give it a go. I bet we can find him. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to try and use the, the amulet again and to try and track him down uh, so we can get the Formidabomb and hopefully 
uh, that is going to be powerful enough uh, to take out the the wither storm so it looks like uh, we're starting to get the uh, the entire gang together so basically at the end of the last episode i could pick between trying to go for elgard or magnus and i chose elgard but i guess if i went for magnus i'd have had an entirely different adventure um, i kind of like elgard though i think she seems nicer and uh, uh, yeah a more kind and clever person than magnus but i must admit the explosions did sound fun so if you are playing the, the game yourself uh, maybe pick to go for magnus instead uh, just to see uh, how it would be different from a uh, what happened to, to me. Uh, but sadly, uh, that is the uh, the end of this episode here. I'll be uploading the next episode of Minecraft Story Mode as soon as I've recorded it. And there'll, of course, be a link in the description to that episode once I have put it online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!